Everyone here belongs to a community, whether large or small, rural to urban. And while each community is unique, you all face common challenges. For the past decade, my colleagues and I have been working with municipalities of all sizes across the world to learn what makes a smart community. Last year, Los Angeles launched GeoHub, a configuration of ArcGIS that enabled the public to discover, explore, and download open data. But citizens want more than just open data. They want to be empowered to make informed decisions to improve their neighborhoods. And the government wants the community to align with official policies. So we're excited to show you ArcGIS Hub, a new product that enables everyone to start their, building their smart community. ArcGIS Hub supports government prioritizing and managing initiatives. These are policy-driven goals connected to standardized data indicators and brought to life through tools and analytics which measure outcomes. ArcGIS Hub also gives every resident a community identity so they can gather new data, explore and analyze information, and share insights to the community and back to the government. So I'd like to introduce Courtney Clausens, an engineer with the ArcGIS Hub team, to share how we're working with the city of South Bend, Indiana, to use ArcGIS Hub to accomplish their blight reduction initiative. Courtney? There are neighborhoods in South Bend where almost 25% of the lots are vacant. The mayor has been focusing efforts on rehabilitation and revitalization, and the Vacant to Value initiative helped bring these efforts to life with the homepage, data, and solutions, all configured using ArcGIS Hub. The initiative homepage outlines the need for the initiative, government's vision, plans of action, and helps clarify why this is important for the residents of South Bend. They can view this homepage on the web or in the city's Hub mobile application. Here, residents can view quick facts and maps powered by open data about the state of blight and vacancy in South Bend and can interact with them to gather more information. Initiatives package focused tools for engaging the community. Participants can explore and search for open data and explore the different applications that are part of this initiative. And there are points of entry for the public to get involved. Each resident can have a named identity follow the initiative to receive updates and notifications, register for events, and leverage community features for their advocacy. They can even perform spatial and statistical analyses to generate their own insights using ArcGIS applications. Now, this might surprise you, but configuring and publishing this entire initiative takes just 30 minutes using ArcGIS Hub. So how do we do it? Starting at the ArcGIS Hub homepage, we sign in with the city's hub account. And the initiative manager is going to show us all the different initiatives that South Bend has been working on. Let's dive in to see what comprises the Vacant to Value initiative. The initiative editor guides us through three steps for solutions. First, inform the public with story maps and websites. Second, listen to the public with surveys and crowdsourcing tools. And third, monitor progress using applications like dashboards to help communicate status of issues to the public and city officials. All of these solutions are a part of this initiative template, and they come to life when South Bend connects their data with the applications. Cities publish initiatives to help create focused community engagement, and a unique feature of ArcGIS Hub is the new way that cities can view the public's efforts. And we do this in the Community Manager. City officials have oversight on their outreach by measuring the reach and engagement, and it can also view the different pieces of content that participants are creating within South Bend's initiatives. So beyond cr simple crowdsourcing, participants can present real solutions powered by GIS, which represent the geographic diversity in the city. Let's take a look at this community-created page. A group of community participants have analyzed the results from the vacant lot inventory survey, and they're focusing on their own neighborhood in South Bend. They've compared these results with the city's community gardens data set. And we can see the notable lack of community gardens in their particular area of interest. The city has augmented their data with Esri's rich demographic data, which these community participants have used to generate this infographic, giving more information and detail about their neighborhood. So altogether, this creates a written narrative advocating for the need for revitalization and transformation of these vacant lots into community gardens, which directly aligns with the city's goals. South Bend's 100,000 residents can now collaborate with their government. Thanks, Courtney. ArcGIS Hub creates digital public spaces that connect the government directly with the communities they serve. 
every resident becomes a full named user of ArcGIS with the ability to create meaningful products and work alongside government on these initiatives. Reduce Blight is just one initiative. ArcGIS Hub includes a growing network of initiative templates that organizations can adopt, configure, and even extend to share best practices with one another. These first initiatives we created in close collaboration with early adopters, and we hope you'll join us in designing and evolving new initiatives. Solving the community's most complex problems will require the ingenuity and efforts of everybody working in close collaboration. We believe that ArcGIS Hub takes community engagement to this next stage. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew. Very wonderful. Really. Yeah. Do you guys get this idea that communities around the world are just going to extend, take the next step beyond open data, actually get real with engagement, organize about, around real initiatives? I mean, Andrew and his team's work, I think, just takes my breath away because I always thought it was going to be GIS for society. No, it's going to be quite practically done by organizations who want to engage and engage around real stuff and make things happen. So I, I, I really love Andrew. He's and his team are just uh, amazing, amazing engineers.